Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is Garlic Parm Chicken Wings. One of my favorite things about chicken wings is it seems like there's an endless amount of ways to prepare them. And one that's been on my list for a long time and highly requested by you fine folks out there is garlic parm wings. So today we're gonna fire up the grill, get a really great crust on the outside of our wing that's gonna be coated in Parmesan and Italian spices. And we'll finish it off by tossing it in some butter and olive oil and lots more Parmesan. Let's get into it. We're cooking today on the Napoleon Phantom 500. I've got this gas grill loaded up with our charcoal basket so we can cook right over some hot lump charcoal today. We're just gonna turn those burners on right underneath the charcoal just to get them started, then we can shut the gas off and cook on nothing but charcoal. So first thing we're gonna do here is get our wings seasoned up. We've got three pounds of chicken wings that have already been separated out. The flats from the drumettes. We're gonna hit these with two different seasonings today. And then the first one, is our Urban Slicer White Pizza Mojo. This stuff is amazing. Uh, number one ingredient, salt, sugar, garlic, parm. All wonderful flavors. It's actually got some nutritional yeast in it as well, which really makes the flavors pop, almost extra cheesy. So this fine seasoning is going to be our base, already getting some parm on there. And then on top of that, we're gonna add a slightly more coarse rub our Cattleman's Grill Italiano, because this is really gonna bring the rest of those herbs and spices, Get some fennel, plenty of garlic, all the good stuff you need in an Italian seasoning. All right, flip them and do the same thing to the other side. Mojo White down first, and then Italiano. Now while the grill's heating up, we're gonna to put together the ingredients for our garlic butter that the wings will be tossed in after they're grilled. We're doing a quarter cup each of unsalted butter and Sicilian extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna to add to that about one tablespoon of finely grated garlic. And we're just gonna warm this up on the side burner while those wings are cooking. Um, not gonna like fully cook it, just want, I just want that garlic flavor to work its way throughout the buttery sauce. So just gently warming it up. And then of course we're gonna need Parmesan. I also grated this down on the microplane so it'd be really fine, almost just melts into the wing in the end. That's about an ounce and a half or one cup. Now as a bonus, I'm gonna do a little uh, dipping sauce for our wings. I'm gonna make this really easy though, all pre prepared stuff. So we've got the Yo Mama marinara, fantastic on its own, but when you spice it up with about a tablespoon of pesto, tablespoon of hot sauce, and a teaspoon more of that, my, that white mojo that we put on our wings, now it goes over the top. So super easy, we'll just give that a little whisk and I'll probably set this on top of the grill while we're cooking just to gently warm so it's not totally cold. The charcoal's been going for about half an hour now. Only took about five to 10 minutes for it to really catch, then we can turn that gas off. For the last 10 minutes or so, I've had both my sauces just sitting on top of the grill warming up. Turns out, don't even need the side burner for this garlic butter today. Um, but we're ready to get these wings on, so come take a look at this, and then we'll get to the wings. We've got our doctored up marinara. You can see it's actually simmering away a little bit here, just real gently, which is fine. Uh, we don't need it to be piping hot. I just didn't want it to be cold, so we can take this off here now. And then our garlic butter. I mean, look at that, the way it's foamed up, that garlic. It's not getting dark yet, it's just warming. I mean, this is exactly what we were talking about earlier that I was gonna do on the side burner. It turns out, it didn't even need the side burner. It just warmed that garlic up and melted that butter down. All right, I'm gonna load up the back half with our drumettes, because I know that those are gonna take a little longer. Although, theoretically, we're gonna be moving them before they're done anyway, because we're just looking to get some char over the charcoal, and then we'll move them to the indirect side of the grill to finish actually bringing the internal temperature up. 
And with the grill this hot, it shouldn't take terribly long for us to get some nice char on these. All right, our hot spots are getting some nice char on them. I'm gonna turn these and keep on charring. Don't be afraid to flip these more than once. It's not like you can only move them one time. At this point, everything's releasing itself from the grill, so it's ready to flip whenever we're ready to flip. And there's nothing wrong with flipping it back over to get more color on it uh, once you've flipped it the first time. Starting to get our wings where we don't want to take on any more color, at least not directly. So moving these off to the right side of the grill for indirect cooking at this point. Just want to make sure we've got that skin kind of rendered out so it's not rubbery when we bite into it. Um, and of course, get some of that great flavor from the char. Now, as far as finishing temperatures go, I like wings pretty high. They need to go past 175 for me to be happy, but even up into the 180s to 190, they're still going to be nice and juicy. They just get a little bit more velvety and want to fall off the bone once they cross that 175 mark. Got all of our wings off the grill now, so we're just going to coat them in our garlic butter sauce. Give that a swirl and a little toss. This smells incredible. It smells like grilled chicken meets garlic bread right now. The final thing we got to do is finish it off with some parm. So we're going to dump all of that parm on now and just get them completely coated. Because that parm's so fine, it should just kind of melt into the wings. Now I'm going to stop before we go too far because if I keep moving these around, it's going to start to clump up and just fall off on the bottom. So that is all there is to it. Let's do it without the sauce first. Mmm. Great cook on there. Man. Garlic and parm are the first two things that hit, no doubt. I love that salty funkiness of Parmesan. Combined with that garlic butter, which reminds you of garlic bread. Perfect pairing. Let's do a little bit of uh, our pesto marinara here too. Mmm. Now we got spaghetti in the mix. It's an all out Italian affair. I'm loving it. Man, super simple. Really doesn't take much time. Give these a try and let us know how you like. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. And that goes for our international viewers as well as now we're shipping overseas. If you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.